Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, we are talking pre-game routines. Fire it up. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. Today's question comes from Hunter Davis. I would like to know what your pre-game routine was. I would also like you to do a film study on JT Daniels, UGA, Georgia, versus Cincinnati who had the best pass defense in the country last year. Thanks. Hunter, first out the gate. Appreciate the question. Next, I also would like to do an analysis of that JT Daniels game versus Cincinnati. If you have the All-22, send it my way. Bunch of different ways to get a hold of me. I appreciate it. As for the pregame routine, really going to go through kind of two and a half uh, versions of what my pregame routine was. I'll start with the league. Uh, early, league late, and then uh, talk a little bit about college. See the full mindscape, full cycle of this thing. So in the league originally, pregame routine, usually get up. Let's just assume we have the early game also because it changes if you have the evening game or the late game. Sometimes you have walkthroughs, things like that, that we don't really care about <laughs> right now. So early game, we're getting up early. We're going to have a meal. Now, if I know I'm playing, uh, I'm probably not going to eat as much as if I'm going to be the backup, if that makes sense. So depending on what it is, usually pretty good. Usually have some version of everything you could imagine breakfast-wise. For me, I was usually kind of a steak filet guy if it was available, and it usually always is available in the league. They usually have chicken, pasta, broccoli, some version of potatoes, oatmeal, fruit, the whole spread. You can have whatever you want. I was a an eggs, steak and eggs guy at that time. Some toast, some fruit, uh, hang out down there, usually watch whatever's on TV, usually vision, visit with the strength and conditioning guys, the other quarterbacks, whoever else is down there early. This is back in the day now. So I used to also probably get like the USA Today was probably and then whatever the local paper was. Not necessarily to read the sports, just to kind of get your mind going, get your mind off exactly what the task at hand is next. Because once I left that breakfast, it was really kind of game time. And what I mean by that is go up, shower, suit up, get ready to go. Early in my career, I was always an early bus guy, meaning that you get on the bus, and I was usually either reading or going over the game plan. What I usually like to do is kind of go over the game plan and then put it away. So I'd get on the bus, go through the game plan one time, and then just read and, and or maybe like do the old like, God, what was it called? iPod back in the day. And then when I got to the locker room facility, do the same thing. Hop in your locker, make sure everything's there, you're good to go and then go over the game plan one more time, and then usually go out on the field, throw it around a little bit, have a cup of coffee, and uh, get dressed, ready to roll. So that was kind of my vibe, and so really the bones of that experience were when I would go over the plan. So I would go over the plan on the bus, and I'd go over the plan again kind of in the stadium. I really felt like there was an element of diminishing returns. You know, if you're someone who can sit there, and maybe it's just me, I don't have the attention span, to be able to sit there for you know a couple hours that morning and just go through it. I'd usually go through it once, put it down, read, then go through it again at the stadium just to kind of feel like, okay, got feeling really good about it. If you have questions, you can ask your coaches usually at the stadium, other quarterbacks, those types of things, just as kind of a refresher to know you've done absolutely everything you possibly can. Kind of like taking a test. You know you're going to do well on a test. You feel like you're fully prepared. You kind of put it away and you're good to go. You know you're locked in, ready to go. I would say that was early in my career. Later in my career, I got a little bit more comfortable. Didn't love being early at the stadium. And so sometimes when you're early at the stadium, you go out, you get a workout. I feel tired, honestly, afterwards. And it felt like you were just there too long. And so I experimented with taking the late bus and really liked it. So not that I wouldn't necessarily get up the same time. I would just take my time at breakfast, being able to get up, get ready at the hotel, get down to the bus, maybe not even get on the bus late, get on the second bus early to just go through it, read, but then just stay a little bit longer to not feel like that I was at the stadium forever. So for me, that's always been one of those things. I want to get there. I like to get there, walk out on the field, come back, get dressed, and let's play. Don't necessarily like to spend. There are some guys who will take cabs or would take cabs back in the day now, probably Ubers or whatever, earlier than the early bus to the stadium. Kind of go over there like with the equipment staff. And that for me, it just felt like it made the day too long. I felt tired. I felt drained. And so I like feeling fresh, like almost feeling like pseudo rushed, uh, not rushed, but definitely not in a hurry, but no kind of like lull. 
There's nothing worse for me than kind of like being dressed, ready to go, sitting in the locker. And so I always wanted to kind of have a plan, kind of bam, 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 be able to keep that thing. And so as I got more comfortable in the league, take the late bus, walk the field, have a cup of coffee, and uh, let's get dressed, rocked, ready to roll. So that's my vibe. So now let's talk college. Uh, college was a little bit different. I was a Division II school, UC Davis non-scholarship for the majority of the time. We did not stay in a hotel before home games. So you stay at your place. Uh, I like to used to go hit the Jamba Juice. Good. What I'm trying to think what exactly I used to get. Something citrus. I mean, maybe they're all citrus. Some crazy sugar smoothie. I thought it was healthy at the time. <laughs> so do that just because, again, if I'm going to be running for my life, I want to feel like I've got something in my system, but not necessarily something heavy per se. And so Jamba Juice, usually walk back to the house, go over the plan. Then I would, for some reason, I don't remember how this started, but we were all about gray zip hoodies. So we would rock like, the kind of like same thing everybody still rocks gray hoodie and i throw i try to get the biggest hood i could get and go like full jedi over it and i have no idea why or how this started but i can definitely remember walking to games where i would walk because we lived close with a game plan in one hand kind of looking at the game plan looking up to play the play but with this like hoodie on and i only walked the same path every time so it would be different if it was practice i'm just straight path whatever but if it was for a game, I would have to walk the exact same path that I took this one time to these home games. And I don't know, even know why that still resonates with me. Probably still recovering OCD elements of it. But this idea of like trying to be a Jedi, walking the secret path to the game still makes me chuckle. But you can see kind of the full spectrum to go from that college experience to finally at the end feeling like you're enough of a pro to be able to take the late bus, have a plan, feel really confident in what you're doing, how you're doing it, be able to go out there and really play at a high level if you get the opportunity to play, those types of things. That was the mindset, and that's kind of the evolution of my pregame. So let me know if your pregame is totally different. I was never a huge, like, music type of, that type of vibe. I certainly could appreciate it and did it at certain times, but it was never really part of kind of woven into the fabric of my pregame. So let me know if yours is different. If you have a unique one, hit me in the comments. Again, I sincerely appreciate the support for the channel. Keep the great questions coming. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.